Listen carefully. If all you have is certificate and you do not have character, you will not rise in this kingdom. There are many educated people who will never rise to managerial levels because they lack virtue. They have transactable skills, but they do not have virtue. We have dealt with this extensively in this house, so I'm not going to dwell so much. Maybe let's just look at two scriptures very quickly. Number one, you know Galatians 5.22? You just write that. Then let's read Colossians chapter 3, please. From verse 12, Colossians chapter 3. I really want us to read. Put on therefore, okay? And then please prepare first kings 7 put on therefore look up everybody as the elect of god holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering another word for patience next verse forbearing one another these are virtues that you need to possess to be great and to sit at the zenith the pinnacle of all that god has ordained for you if any man had a quarrel against any even as christ forgave you also do ye next verse above all this put on charity the bible calls it the bond of perfectness let's stop there character many people have degrees but they lack character you must have solid character the fruit of the spirit to be able to rise there are people today who are employed because of their degrees but promoted because of their character when everybody has what you have your character is what distinguishes you it may be one of the reasons why many 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 graduates do not have jobs they have the technical skills but they don't have the character that can back it. You can't trust them. First Kings chapter 7 from verse 13 to 14. Hmm. This scripture blessed me. We are now talking of value in terms of skill. We'll read it together. 13 and 14. Everybody read. And King Solomon sent and fetched Hiram out of Tyre 14 he was a widow's son who cares but the Bible is telling you something that the king sent for a man he started his life as a widow's son of the tribe of Naphtali and his father was a man of Tyre a worker in brass and he was filled with what wisdom and understanding and cunning to walk in all walks in brass and he came to king solomon and wrought all his work he started as a widow's son but skill took him to a point where solomon said come and work for me the bible captured that information he was a widow's son his father taught him because his father was a craftsman and died and although a widow's son his skill bailed him out now to be in the palace he didn't look for the king the king that means every king is searching you say nobody's looking for me it's not true you are not the kind they are looking for king solomon sent for hiram he said come prove your skill prove your worthiness nobody finds a skillful man with character and cannot forego any other excess to keep that person it's true many believers have character but they don't have skill character is important but it's not character that turns products into services it will take skill 
nobody will bring into their company to come and destroy them and the only thing you are doing is praying that's important but they didn't hire you as a prayer warrior they hired you to be productive 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 you can tell them everybody who is stealing in the store no problem but what result are you producing otherwise you follow those who stole and, and go your offenses you are not productive their offense is that they are thieves two of you the door is open for you to go listen to me competence will pay you again and again let competence be your employer give your cv to competence and it will pay you you will never go on strike once for the rest of your life mediocrity mediocrity will always produce beggars it's a deception it looks like you are there but you are not there many preachers love god but they are not skilled many business people are not skilled listen to me many career people are not skilled value your virtue your character that's important but you must be competent you want kings to eat your food you must know how to cook food for kings not men you want kings to part and i hope you know that you have not arrived until kings patronize you the proof you are successful is when you serve kings the gatekeepers of the mountains they are the ones who don't ask how much no you rise from the realm of everybody asking how much to men who say you are too useful i won't let you go oh that will find men and women here who desire to grow listen please do not let anybody trivialize the place of diligence and competence being skillful at something be a master at your field ministry is not for lazy people ministry is not for people who tried everything and failed and just came and just received the anointing there is a skill even in the dispensing of the anointing preaching has a skill you try it and find out how many people listen to you africa let's wake up our incompetence will continue to whip us again and again we compare ourselves with ourselves i am better than this i am better than that if you get 10 over 100 and you are the highest you still failed you are just the highest of the failures listen you must be competent from a global reference benchmark yourself globally don't benchmark yourself within your territory sometimes our territories are so mediocre we don't have to do much to be that recognized you're a businessman know your craft back and forth you're a career person tell yourself you will rise to the best the confidence that knowing a thing gives you is something only God can help you understand I've met people who know what they are doing boy there is there is an aura of favor a compelling presence that competence brings make up your mind that you will not stand at the gate of life and between your finger no pay the price avoid premature manifestation sit down get something that even kings will give you a right hand of fellowship they will say we are great but you have seen all of us we have not seen all of you welcome they will welcome you by themselves you are a tailor so well you are a farmer farm well you are a public speaker speak well you are not the only one there and you are not going to pay yourself respect those who will hear you don't talk in a way that only you will understand are we together you are a scholar don't be lazy stretch to the zenith of your profession say i'll be competent say it competence is more than a desire 
you must outsource the information that give you an advantage in your field you are the best because of the scarcity of what you know don't find the things that are general find the things only few know that becomes your edge please listen to what i'm telling you i'm speaking especially to our brothers you must cause the spirit of laziness and mediocrity from your life prayer is no excuse for mediocrity mediocres in our world today are those who will beg for bread and be they are the ones who will be writing all kinds of stories about successful people because of the pain and the effect that other people's success will cause on them make up your mind i vowed a vow unto god that i will never be a preacher that will have to go back and bury my head in shame find out what it takes to excel and give your all and give your best it may take a while don't worry conquer pain in your life do not ever let pain be an interruption to your success pain does not kill burn the candles if you need to listen to me burn the candles if you need to wake up in the night if you need to buy the books take the certifications go for the trainings I can cook for who who can pay you I can sew for who I have a hotel for who a restaurant for who I'm a good preacher who can listen to you can men of God listen to you or is it only those who want to be born again I'm a keynote public speaker who can demand you so much that no price of hosting you becomes too much listen you know you are valuable when no amount placed on you becomes an inconvenience the moment people begin to compare price and you and say Kai, is this not a bit too much is proof that you have plateaued on your value step up there are people that there is no amount to host them that becomes a waste their presence is like the presence of God one hour with them you must change you will never be the same it has nothing to do your own is to just make sure you are in contact with them the excellency of the information they supply you will beat your ignorance to its knees you will think you are just going to receive one or two things oh goodness in five minutes they will they will embarrass your pride by making you see how ignorant you are when you become like such people gentiles will come to your light you hear me challenge you all the time i will never become a pastor of weak people i've taught you how to pray and know god but i want you to be successful why must they think about you when they are downsizing it's a reflection of your value be as scarce as gold the same way people queue in front of a filling station they are not complaining the pump does not talk they need the oil so much they need the foil they will stay from morning till night to fill their tanks and pay you and still tell you thank you may God make you so valuable in the name of Jesus preachers be so valuable and you will never beg for bread your blessings will come from the people you have raised you are not raising anybody there is no bread for the future listen to me carefully you are not raising anybody there is no bread for the future there are men of god who are recycling the same kind of knowledge those who are growing know where they are getting it from when they are blessed they will go there raise men when people complain all around and say uh, why should you know people be blessed why should a young man be blessed why should what what are you saying when you raise people they become too grateful to ignore you please listen to what i'm teaching you it's important don't sit down and ask how can i rise it is valuable people who rise when you become the delight of many do you not know there is an aura of beauty that value brings upon your life you become difficult to ignore people will overlook anything 
be like water ah be like cold water on a sunny day how far can you ignore that the water is not what is suffering the effect of the sun on you will make you say how much did you say it is at 150 why because it's cold you are wicked oh boy you will still buy it pray in one minute and say lord make me valuable 